grow up just because she's your daughter? No. Well, think about me for one second, will you? You're making the whole street think that I am a murderer. Tracy's lying here. Yeah? I don't want to talk about it. And just nod your head. Tracy's lying, yeah? She lost her babies. She's not lying about that. No, but how did she lose them? But will, will you just let me pass? Deirdre, why did you come and see me in the hospital and try and get rid of me? Why did you tell Steve that you had to pay me the money from streetcars? It's because she knows something, isn't it? No, I don't. Now, will you please let me pass? Dear, please! Please, Deirdre! Hi. Hey, I'm where we said. On Coronation Street outside some pub. Yes, just give me a minute and I'll be right there. So, what were hen parties like in your day, Auntie Emily? I bet they weren't like nowadays. <laughs> oh, a lot quieter. Been more time for reflection. Oh, you don't get a chance for that now, do you? Unless there's a stripper. That can start you thinking. <laughs> well, maybe it was just me and the friends I had. I often wish I'd lived a wilder life. Oh! Oh, right. Well, look, I'm going to have to, um, if you leave, yeah. Look, not if you want to stay with your friends. No, no, of course she doesn't know me now. Just make sure you invite her to your hen party when it's your turn. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Uh, Tracy, love. I thought you'd gone home. No, um, I, I, I just need to have a word with you. Right. Yeah, OK. Good evening. What can I get you? Well, have you changed sides? I have, yeah. And they've told you about that local tradition, have they, where a new barmaid buys everybody a drink? Uh, no, I don't know about that. Neither does anybody else. He's winding you up, love. Another <laughs> try. <laughs> so what do you want, then? Uh, vodka and tonic, a pint. Uh, you will have one, Kevin. Cheers. Mm. Coming up. Right, I'll get the pint. Oh, Stella, it's all right if I go now? Yeah, of course you can. Go on anywhere nice. Back to the house where I just got kicked out of, so, uh, no, not really. Oh. Bye. See ya. She was practically screaming in my face, trying to get me to admit that you were lying. And did you? No. It's OK, then. Look, I'm just warning you. She's not going away. Which anybody with any self-respect would do. Listen, just stick to the story, man. She can't do anything about it. Hey, Hi. How are you? I'm glad to see you, because the rest of the day I haven't been too good. You want to tell me about it? Yeah, not really. Okay. Couldn't have time that better, could we, eh? Me coming in as you're going out. I'm only going for a takeaway. I will be back. <laughs> I'm only collecting a few things, so uh, I shan't be staying. Nothing to worry about then, have we? No need to get me anything, thanks. Oh, you all right? I don't mean to disturb, I'm just uh, collecting a few of my things. Yeah, well, look, you know what we were saying about letting Kirsty off the hook and that? What you said. Yeah, but what do you think? I mean, they're going to have enough on the plate with a baby and that. That we want? Yeah. And can look after you. Don't have to worry about us. T, but I just think it'd be a really nice present if you just went to the cop shop, told him all it was a big mistake, and you wanted to forget about it. It would, but see, I only do nice presents for people that I like. Your favourite? Sausages. Yeah. They're not. Don't like them. Ah, oh well, don't eat them then. But you, you better let Anna know because she definitely thinks they're your favourite. I suppose I can eat some. And then I think you've got some homework to do, haven't you? No. Haven't got any. Oh. Something else you got wrong. <sighs> well, what else did you tell me? That you, um, that you have to have a bath and be in bed by 9.30? Shower. And it's 10 o'clock. It went up to 10 o'clock at Christmas. Right. Right. <sighs> but I got everything else right, though, didn't I? Right, another round of drinks, boys. I'll get it. No, no, no. I'm not, because I'm going to go and see if Stella needs a hand. Uh, can you not bear the excitement, mate? <laughs> I 
Might see you around there later, yeah? Never know. Yeah, I'll see you, Carl. See ya. Uh, I'll just see if I can get some service. Mm. Um, say it again, Pete. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> advice on how to keep your sister happy? Oh, no, mate, I don't... I don't give advice, no. Sorry, I'm not qualified. Oh, come on, you, Leanne, Simon, you're the model family. No, we're not. Well, you know, what, what I mean is... You know, nobody is, are they? Everybody's got their problems. Well, sometimes that's all people do have. <laughs> but, you know, our Tracy, you know, she's... She's dying to settle down, so I don't think you'll have any... Uh, I don't think you'll have any problems on that score. Yeah. Cheers. Hi. Yeah. Thank you, bum. Margaret arrived with some bad news tonight. How bad? She's moving to North Wales to be near her sister. Leaving me to cope with Leslie on my own. Can you? Done it before. But she wasn't as bad then. So what are you saying, or are you saying it and I'm being sick? I'm saying Margaret's going. Can't you get someone else? I can try. I'll have to. Tina, you are a really, really nice person. Where'd you get that idea from? You're just trying your hardest not to be. Well, I've tried to be nice, but all I got was a load of aggro off him. Of... Sorry, Ty. A bully in a uniform. No, it's OK. Say what you like. Look, you two don't get on, we get it. Well spotted. But she's pregnant, Tina. And Ty's the dad. Big mistake. Right, she's here now, so just... All I'm saying is be nice. Right, and all I'm saying is... It was nice sharing with you guys. See you around. See you, Tina. You got the nuts, then? What she have to say for herself? Ah, uh, nothing. Not that you care. <laughs> Why am I even asking? No idea. She's got her life. I've got mine. Let's just try and keep them separate in future. Well, it's nice that you be living near your mum and dad. <laughs> yeah, it's handy for babysitting. Oh, now we know. <laughs> oh, you love Amy. You don't mind. Oh, no, I suppose so. When is this wedding, anyway? Next Monday. Only if you get coffee, I'll be able to step in. Cos he does it for me, does your Steve, you know. Always have. Yeah, I don't think that'll be necessary, but thank you. No, but I'll be there on the subs bench. <laughs> Good evening, sir. What can I get you? Who's standing there? <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, what is that meant to prove? That you can get someone else to employ you? That it doesn't have to be me? OK, point proved. You coming home now? No. Well, in that case, can I have a large brandy? Why not a small? Do you always have a large? Excuse me. Hey, landlord, I think I'm being refused service here. All right, mate, keep your hair on. I'll get it for you. You're going to smell of booze. Do you know that? You're going to have drunks leering at you, making passes. Really? Is that how you behave in a pub? Uh, there you go. Thank you. That's £4.80, please. She can go out with who she wants, not to do with me, especially what happened today. Because you know what I got in the post this morning? No. What? My divorce papers, so that's it, it's over. Well, congratulate. I mean, what a shame. Yeah, well, I think it is. She obviously doesn't, probably out celebrating now. So, thanks for the drink. I'm off. Well, I know Sally's been through the mill. Still wonder what she's playing, eh? I imagine she's fallen for this Frank character, and he's told her his side of the story. Which is what? Well, I don't know. He didn't tell me. That one we should ask her. Frank's going to be up in court three weeks today. Where are you going? I might. People will be talking whether I do or not. About you? What's the matter with her, seeing a man like that? It's all ignorance and prejudice. I don't take any notice of him. Mum, I do know what it's like to have people talking about you, you know? I know you do. <laughs> So this family has to stay strong and support one another. They can say whatever they like. We're not going to listen. Did he? Oh, he's such a lovely lad, you know. Well, 
He thinks you are the bee's knees. Uh -huh. Are you going to see her again, Dad? No, actually, he said, are we going to see her again, Dad? And you said? I said... I said probably not, because... Something happened this morning that I didn't tell you because I didn't know about it. You didn't know what? The thing with working for a big hotel chain, you have to go where they send you. And the bigger the chain, the further that may be. Go on. What, my time in Manchester was up a while ago. I was just hoping they wouldn't notice. Where? Okay. Are they going to send me? Barbados. Barbados? I'm afraid so. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Glad you yeah, enjoyed yeah. it. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey. Well done. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time. Yes. <laughs> right. Oh, listen. Uh, if there's anything we can do to help towards the wedding, let us know. Okay. Yeah. 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 See. You. Well, now he's got a track record as long as uh, Bluebeard, but he's a good lad. He's yeah. Yeah. I just hope Tracy realizes how lucky she is. Marrying the man she's had a heart set on since I don't know when. Oh, she's as keen as mustard. She's not going to risk it going wrong this time, is she? Oh. You mean I might finally have the pair of you happily married? <sighs> and you have no say in this? Can't tell me you don't want to go to Barbados? You want to go to Blackpool instead? I'd have to have a pretty good reason. And you don't? Look, it may just be a six-month posting. That long? I'm sorry. It's a lousy time, you know. No, it's all right. It ain't your fault, is it? Anyway, I should be saying, Barbados, brilliant. I am really pleased for you and your Billy. You'll have a great time playing in the sand. I hear there's a lot of that there. Get in the right place, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, good. Listen, I'm not going yet. Oh, when then? Next week. Oh. Right, I shall go home now and I shall read our children a bedtime story. No, you won't. Amber will have done it. They don't like the way you read. Oh, really? What, and they've said this to you? They think you overdo everything trying to act it out instead of just reading it. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for that information. It's OK. No doubt we'll be seeing you after closing time. No need to wait up. What am I? Just in case you decide to tell me what you're doing, this is really sorry, but uh, what kind of point you're trying to make. Oh, so there's a point you're trying to make, is there? I wonder what was going on. Nothing. I just fancied a change. A change from working in the shop or a change from working with Dev? Not sure. <laughs> you're very lucky if you find a man you can trust. Uh, yeah, well, I have done. Think you have. Well, they're no worse than us, though, really, are they? Hey, Deirdre, are you going to tell us all your secrets? No, she's not. No, we'd be here all night. <laughs> I'm not saying it's their fault, just... They see someone they fancy and the brains switch off. Yeah, yeah, but don't you think that women are much better liars? Well, I do, yeah. actually. Yeah, yes, I do. I do. Oh, and is that something to be proud of? <laughs> well, no, but it can become very useful. <laughs> <laughs> I once married a man who turned out to be already married to somebody else. Oh, yeah. You can't tell a much bigger lie than that, I wouldn't have thought. You're serious? <laughs> A lot more than he ever was. Oh, Emily, and there was you saying you wish you'd led a wilder life. Uh, <laughs> that episode was the exception. <laughs> so you turn up on Sally's doorstep. What are you going to say to her? Ask her if she knows what people are saying about her. You mean what you two are saying about her? Not just us. Lots of people. Well, we might be wrong. She might be just being friendly with it. In which case, she'd be even less pleased to be accused of stuff she hasn't done. Well, that's a risk we'll take. She's our friend, and we're concerned about her. Well, good luck. Though I still say you're taking your lives in your hands. Looking for something? Where's the remote? Oh, what? This you mean? Homework. Then you can have it. I'm sorry, it's a bit late, love. Hope we're not disturbing anything. No, no, we were just having a chat, weren't we, sir? Mm-hmm. And now I'm going to go upstairs so you three can have one. Oh, you don't have to. Obviously think she does. Come through. 
Would you like a drink? Uh, no, uh, we've just had one, love, thank you. And uh, we got talking and uh, we thought... Uh... Yeah, we thought, because the three of us are such good friends, we'd come and tell you what we were talking about. I see. Is it true you're seeing Frank Foster? Uh, look, we know it's your business. We're not here to judge or criticise. That's right. It's my business. Well, you know what people are like. It does seem to be common knowledge. Evidently. And as Rita says, we're not here to judge. Then why are you here? I'm sorry, I don't really understand this. He's yeah. going to be up in court. Yes. On a rape charge. And the victim is someone we all know. The so-called victim. The one who's telling all the lies. But are they lies? Yes! So he says. There were only the two of them there. Only they know what really went on. Why is everybody so quick to believe her and not him? I think that's why we're here, really. Because that's exactly what they are doing. You think I don't know that? Sally, I know what it feels like. I've been through it. Well, then you'll understand why I'm standing by him. And why I don't care what anybody says. And you'll also understand why I want you both to leave. Finished. Sure. Have a look if you want. No, I'll take your word for it. So, if you want to get your stuff packed for tomorrow, you can have an hour's telly. Oh, yeah. I need some clean clothes for tomorrow and a pee kit. Well, they'll be in your room, won't they? I've run out. They all need washing. Ah, right. OK. Well, you're going to have to show me where everything is. Clothes are in the wash basket, powders by the machine. Where's the remote? Here. And yes, you can use it now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I had planned on staying longer. You've been asked. I'll let you know what's happening. Which is what? Not a lot from what you've said. I mean, not for us, not if you're going to be Leslie's full-time carer. Which some say I should be anyway. Well, if that's how you feel. Look, Eileen, I have no idea what's going to happen, OK? I do know that I don't want to make promises that I can't keep. Everyone else does. <sighs> Eileen, Eileen, I still want there to be time for us. More than ever, I want that. Good. But I am going to have to go home and explain to Leslie how Margaret's going to be leaving and she won't see her again, and then tomorrow I'll have to explain the same thing and again the next week. Look, between all those explanations, I just... Don't forget me, eh? Give me a ring. I will. And thank you for understanding. I know. I'm wonderful. You are. Right, young lady. Hey, what are you doing? Would you like to tell me how this got on your sweater? Do you know? Do you know what it is? No. Because I do, because I'm a builder. It's creosote! I also know it's what somebody used to kill all my fish outside in the pond. But you think it's funny? But like you found it funny when you killed all those harmless little creatures? Why, love? Hey, was it to upset me? Because if it was, it worked. Because I am really, really upset. You know, uh, I'm going to show you just how upset I am. Ow! Get off! Somebody needs to teach you a lesson. Get off! You should have plenty more where that came from. Unless you learn to behave yourself. Go on, get out of my sight. I do hope you and Steve are very happy. Oh, we will be. <laughs> I do as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you're my mum. You're supposed to. <laughs> Good night. See ya. Good night. Bye. 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 Well, do you know what? I think it's really nice because mm. it's not just two of you get married, is it? It's three of you, so you have to make it work, don't you? Mm. Oh. Yeah. You do. She's right. Yeah, like me and Peter did. I mean, I know... Simon's not mine, but I just, well, I think of him as my own son and couldn't imagine my life without him, you know? Oh. So, do you think you've found your last location? <laughs> well, you never know. Well, I'll put you on the rotor and see how we get on, shall we? See how Dev goes on, more like. What happens when he lays down the law? You saw what happened. I don't take any notice. Well, I did tell you. 
I still think we did the right thing. Of course we did. Even if you've lost a friend? What? You think it would have been better if we just sat here and talked about her behind her back? Yes, I do, actually. Yeah, well, you know, she tried it on a bit. Didn't like what I cooked for her. Didn't have any homework to do. But I have brought up two of my own. What? Well, right now. Um, she's upstairs in her room. Gone to bed, I think, love. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure she'll have a few complaints when she sees you. Always have, haven't they? So can I see you tomorrow? Well, we're going to have a whole world in romance in the space of a week, are we? Well, why not? Why not is because it'll be even worse when you go. Forget that. I've seen her before. <laughs> the one in the veil. You are so mm. drunk. Wish I hadn't. Yeah, she's at the hotel looking for you out. And she found him, I'm sure. Well, in fact, the reason I remember is she collapsed and then was carted off in an ambulance. When? Mm, a few weeks ago. No. No, I need much better than that when. Okay. Well, it was when I had that appointment with you and Steve, so it's December. The Yeah, sixteenth. Yes! Oh. You are amazing and wonderful and <laughs> yeah. So December sixteenth. Yeah. She collapsed and was rushed into hospital. Yeah, but it took her. That's when she lost the babies. It had absolutely nothing to do with me. She'd lost them already. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Lorraine will be having a chat with Craig Gazy tomorrow morning from 8.25 on ITV1. I didn't want it to be you, of all people. Wait, you think that I... Scoppered my promotion, yes, I do. The question is, why did you do it? Above Suspicion continues next.